Jason, thank you. Move out or get towed. Any RVs remaining in the Coventry Home Depot lot had to leave by 8 this morning. But as we learned, moving from parking lot to parking lot is common for RVers. NBC 10's Allegra Zamor is live in Coventry to explain. Hey, Allegra. Yeah, Barbara, the parking lot here at the Home Depot was lined with RVs about a week ago and even well into yesterday. Now they've since all cleared out, but some of them simply moving on to the next parking lot. The last of the RVs parked at the Home Depot in Coventry were cleared out this morning. One woman left just after the 8 o'clock deadline, leaving one RV to be towed from the lot. One woman we spoke to said she'd been here for about five months. It wasn't until recently they were asked to leave. It became a little too crowded and um, some of the neighbors were causing some ruckus. <clears throat> loudness. In a statement, Home Depot said they don't allow overnight parking and we're taking steps to make that clear. Staying overnight in parking lots is a common practice often called boondocking. It involves staying somewhere outside a designated campground, usually without water or electricity hookups. A quick Google search shows most places do allow you to park overnight, but it's typically limited to one night. Walmart founder Sam Walton was said to have even encouraged RVers to park overnight, depending on the rules in the city or town. Some people posting in NBC 10's Facebook comments are worried abusing these policies could ruin it for everyone. The woman we spoke to does have a place to go, but is frustrated with the lack of affordable housing available. I was at a campground for a couple of years, so, but then, you know, it gets expensive. Now, I did just check the Walmart next door. We didn't see any RVers there. We did see one RV parked at the park and ride up the road with a sign in the windshield that actually said do not tow. According to RIDOT, state law does say that those park and rides are to be used for temporary parking for passenger vehicles. Any other vehicles could be fined or even towed. Live in Coventry, Allegra Zamor, NBC 10 News. Hi, everyone. It's Patrice Wood from NBC 10. Thanks for checking out the NBC 10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.